Okay, good morning. Uh, you me by story a little bit about some fella issue where them affecting a uh, place in island blue or the western province. Uh, first of all, me like uh, introduce him, <clears throat> uh, Miss Eleva, name blue me Patrick and last name Pikacha. And uh, me actually born lo Gizo uh, Island, Gizo Hospital. Uh, first of all, me like uh, hand him over with a friend of me, you let me introduce him, Mr. Leva, and uh, what now you doing or when are you this time? And uh, yes, let me take him from there. Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. Um, and um, currently, I'm currently doing postgraduate studies in the University of Canterbury, New Zealand. And um, yeah, me have uh, too much for common line today and talk a little bit about him. He's a white eye. Yeah, so me been with uh, uh, the group Ecological Solutions for my since uh, 2016. And we have too much for work with him to follow both with Patrick and David Pocheto. Yeah. Now, uh, just for those that are not uh, aware, uh, Gizo Island is this tiny island in, in the western province. About uh, the town is about uh, 150 hectares. Uh, the island is 11 kilometers long by about five kilometers wide. So, very small island compared to other islands around the uh, uh, the province. Um, it's a low lying island and uh, it is the capital of the western province of Solomon Islands. Wakata surrounding islands around Gizo, uh, Kolobangara, which is the big uh, volcanic island. Kolobangara, a little bit big island, about 687 square kilometers, so quite big, uh, almost uh, spherical in, in, in uh, uh, geography. And I'm got an elevation. <clears throat> Vela, the western side of Gizoham, also a relatively big island. But <clears throat> one thing that makes uh, Gizo and every island in the Solomon Islands quite unique, uh, in fact, those islands in the Solomon Islands, uh, the islands that gave rise to the theories of speciation where universities around the world are going to teach him. Yeah. Um, and um, that is because of the special birds that are found on these islands that were studied by a person called Jared Diamond. Jared Diamond has to be one of the most famous, um, um, well, ornithologists, biogeographer, uh, ecologist out there or, uh, presently in the world today. And him and one fellow man named him, Ernest Meyer in the ninth, who come, come to Solomon Islands in the early 19th, hundreds uh, from study blow to follow on these birds called the white eyes that you may got him stuck a theory of of uh, biology and ecology where you miss a teach him around the world or universities me follow me lo here lo um pacific adventist university but if you go to columbia or cornell or university of queensland the theories of so, uh, speciation uh, many of those theories were born from the studies of Western Solomon Islands. Iko, but in the story about Giza White Eye this time, uh, you know what? You look him a little bit Giza White Eye, lo Giza, and what na? Listen, what na make him you interested lo this fellow White Eye? Oh, okay. Um, Giza White Eye. Um, basically, you um, also, how you store in companies here yeah, about species and so I mean, I'm also one for thing where I'm interested in because we find him stuck at uh, even other white eyes or other islands here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and Gizo, uh, what interesting about Gizo white eye because he's an endemic low Gizo Sereva, yeah, and found low on the low island in the uh, taking into consideration that island size, yeah, mm -hmm. small, small restricted range, mm -hmm. yeah, but, um, um, and now something was very interesting for good about him. Um, he's a white eye bird. I think one time only looking only once. Let me look him some someone from um, another side. 
lo sara yung lo eras na migulitin lo western side lo island and yeah I'm very um how same lo um appearance lim lo um I'm of a really small bed but then I'm getting colors there if you're looking but you are interested to mask or observing kind of thing so yeah. Uh, what kind of habitat na you looking visual white eye lo him? What kind of habitat? Um, I'm saying um, him, him, him not, him not, him not really disturbed habitat. I'm saying him um, primary uh, forest. Hmm. Hem hem stop cross up lo village lo sairagi lo west gizo or you look him a little bit far away from village. Ah, uh, hem stay far away, far away from village. And uh, time time you uh, looking better and um, from uh, uh, information you saw, uh, what na some fala threats uh, you think lo survival and uh, lo better. Uh, and low, low wild. Um, uh, because first thing this area, uh, also looking at stay close up come low this area, low district uh, some years ago. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But then because of um, people clearing place for settlement, yeah? new areas uh, development kind of thing, yeah? mm -hmm. so I'm driving to go in. Uh, away from that place where I normally stay. But then, uh, all tracks where I'm obvious, na, um, I'm say, um, cutting down of the forest for wood, you know, supply for uh, wood, fuel wood, um, maybe climate climate change, climate change, I think we're one of a uh, major threat. Mm. So, uh, there's a white eye. And habitat loss, mm. habitat loss. Not so one of our bar, um, threat where affecting declining population kita mm. over the years. Ah, uh, yes, okay, yeah, I'm true. Yeah, because uh, uh last time, time me fellas are doing what a severe on the water pump area, uh, low gizo, stuck a white eye. Nasa go inside lo bed timer water pump them no uh, no stuck a settlement lo there. So uh, what's interesting is that uh, I'm also found lo place where or at, uh, uh, even lo edge lo road where you got an uh, other trees where maybe not mature but secondary trees but as uh, time you got in places where stuck a vine grow and of at, uh, 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 dense uh, trees and vegetation, even though secondary forest, um, but forest where hem hem dense, yeah, uh, stuck up branches, stuck up vines, yeah. stuck up dead leaves. Uh, this fella white eyes are uh, making nest blem. Uh, hem small passerine birds, so I'm making nest blem inside of the um, uh, habitats. Uh, awesome. Now, um, so yeah, so the white eye is a uh, hem, very restricted range species. Uh, white eye is probably the most restricted range species of any white eye on on the on Earth today on planet Earth, um, because uh, you may right now you may not sure as a white eye. Eh? Yeah, gives a white eye because you may not sure that whether white eye species are found on offshore islands. Yeah. Suppose I'm um, found the other islands uh, offshore, then at least giving me a chance for protecting some islands offshore if by by uh, by chance habitat them lost lo gizo. But right now, no anyone doing any study lo ecology lo white eye. No anyone doing any study on um, you know on population, on distribution, on microhabitat, on food resources um, just on behavior as well blue white eye uh, through a uh, simple ethogram you may know you may not have any information about white eye 
Um, another thing is Giza white. I am of an iconic species because uh, ham inside the ham inside the community vocabulary, the people of Giza too. Because of every soccer team named Giza white eye, because of Pathfinder clubs named Giza white eye, any community uh, uh, program or team where representing yes. Giza, what I call them Giza white eye. Um, and so this fella bed, an iconic bed, no people, no gizo. Um, and so uh, that's why you me, you me as uh, communities and also as biologists, you got a responsibility for make sure that uh, uh, this bird, if I'm threatened, at least I'm got a chance for survive. Now, in, in that case, you may try to talk about uh, research and uh, conservation law uh bird yeah um low worst case scenario so the scenario right now is uh um developers like developing gizo island or like login no, not like login island or gizo um let me bring him up satellite map at a later time but uh for looking island or gizo um but uh right now what now you think him worst case scenario by happen uh lord this fellow white eye should uh, login and deforestation um, take place what not think thing blue you should log if login and take place uh worst case scenario um simple no matter by for me looking because currently him him categorized this um um, endangered eh? and I use the list of uh, category. So after endangered, my you go for critically endangered. Then next, next after that, extinction. Eh? Mm -hmm. So worst case scenario, if there's a pocket of forest eh, and uh, destroyed, and then low end about a bed a go more. Yeah, man. So um, how many things in uh, ban lead to towards extinction? Eh? Because the estimated population now. 250 to 99, eh? 999. If you look in low bed life um, um, site, eh? bed life international. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I'm aware of the meeting, also in Italian, the meeting studies we are doing is updating what's the latest information about the distribution, population trends, and stuff like that. But, um, how about Mr. Talent Mama is, um, if this logging home continues? If all those places are destroyed, then um, by and by bringing the bed, iconic bed species living here to the brink of extinction. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, so that one I'm uh, uh, quite alarming because and quite uh, urgent that you may uh, think a little bit about the development that you may try to push him and uh, uh, which may in lifetime blame me and uh, and actions deliberate actions will you mean no forest management practice law gizo that might lead to the uh, extinction of the solar bird the lifetime blame me. that's a very uh, I'm, I'm irresponsible action for me Take him yeah. That may be, you may got him one last uh, endemic species left low island low. I love uh, low gizo. Um, now, having said that, um, let me bring him up another study. There are other white eyed birds where what are also found elsewhere low Pacific, where like um, the, the brittle white eye, I think, low Marianas, where those birds have been bred in captivity, low uh, zoos, low uh, places like Ohio um, in the US. Now, you may also got a case where in 2016 or 17, um, someone like exporting Santa Cruz white eye from Honiara, go low, low somewhere in the Middle East. And then there was a halt to this export of this endemic ground pigeon, probably the last ground pigeon left low for the entire Pacific, uh, um, this Santa Cruz ground pigeon. And the ground pigeon, Santa Cruz ground dove today, the, the survival of that 
iconic one another iconic species lo lo santa cruz is left now lo captive breeding program lo honiara and also lo jurong bird park lo singapore now you me bring him this on up because there is opportunity that or there should be uh, that um, we can study the the behavior and the propagation and population of geese white eye in captivity so ex situ conservation so you like you like adding anything lo uh, uh, ex situ conservation no ma okay yeah so uh, anyway so the opportunity for conserve the diesel white eye can come through exito conservation now so i guess um, as a closing thought law this brief conversation will bring him up um, this uh, to the public's notice and also as a recommendation from uh, ecological solutions uh, based law gizo but mifala also got a members all over uh, the world at the at the at right now uh, and that is that um, um, you the go the government or whoever is uh, proposing the login of Gizo island should wait a little bit time um, and if you feel like really login place yeah you me should you give me a chance for uh, relocating mokata birds yeah or for negotiate one time land owners we got a uh, forest yet low area block at logizo for maybe protecting what a forest yeah so that uh, this fellow iconic species by him no disappear in uh, become extinct um low island startup you may also low western province like encouraging tourism and tourism, yeah, one part of tourism is uh, bird tourism too, or bird watching. And Staka people were like taking off checklist of birds of the world, or come look gizo for looking um gizo white eye. So I, I yes. Um, yeah, man, true. Me, me look look up to uh, of our website, eh? then me looking um, that all other bird a bit what to say but even giving what a garam on on local meeting or some other naming um um he's a white arrow on dialect but too so also him very interesting because in that way i think by himself a capturing more people on areas in the diamond for for survey um taking more people coming and then make the bands of boosting to other activities too yes yes so for uh you know, government like encouraging tourism, provincial government, uh, and one other way for uh, encouraging tourism too is through uh, bird watching. Now, 44% uh, of every bird Los Solomon Islands have only endemic Los Solomon Islands here. Uh, very high uh, percentage of endemism or uh, birds with special normal country uh, and not found anywhere else in the world. So these are white eye. This all these are white eye. Some of the are like shooting low sling. Yeah, man, this all bird found no more gizo. Yeah, they have no found anywhere. Lo, this all a planet. Yeah. True. Uh, so uh, I guess uh, conversation lo mitola uh, eco is just for bringing a bit of awareness. Lo, this all a bird, and uh, also for making a public statement that um, we you may should uh, think a little bit about. Uh, implementing some um, uh, management low biodiversity where low ground before you may uh, destroy everything uh if you like parliamenting yeah i think um, um, um good is for patrick talent try get them baseline data first mm -hmm. so that whatever uh whatever happens behind the things Okay, so uh, any other way for you think that you should uh, think about conservation law, geese or white eye? Uh, I think one for main input, important something for creating forest park. Eh? Mm. Um, 
then for for the uh, consideration the uh, uh, timer. So the immigrate in place uh, then then is uh, at least um protecting and without much disturbance and um uh, yeah. Yeah, so a forest uh, park and a site where you have a representative of forest and landscape, natural landscape law, Gizo. So a percentage of the uh, area cover by Gizo should be protected for conservation by Gizo white eye, and uh, not only for Gizo white eye, but also for us. Uh, species where naturally have stuff for diesel. Uh, yes, uh, these are some uh, options where you can look, look for um, management law, biodiversity, where representing island law diesel. One, one something we can do is um, educational awareness programs, the time also, and should, 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 should all out, I mean, you know, you know, Sari Hauna of uh, provincial here, yeah, the Department of Climate and Environment Law, Gizo, and so on. But um, at this moment, I mean, the responsible authorities, I think, are very important for carrying out education and awareness programs, you know, for the communities around Gizo. For only one for let's say, one for public forum or awareness. Um, uh, talk low and it's GBLD you know, kind of thing where every people around the island has a car market where people around there everyone will uh, come in the room visit data but it means you have to come to uh, come and listen out and in that way being said uh, sharing information and giving people more uh, ideas into what my database this is here and uh, main role being kind of thing and environment so in people getting the tela um um get a fair idea more about him um this white eye species. And in that way but side providing but side giving some support too for in you have a little bit um strength in numbers eh? mm. for you say help for a little bit uh reverse in some like destructive um, uh, activities when I'm going on or uh, what plan for doing. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> so uh, I guess uh, summary uh, for conservation uh, for the solar gizo white eye, a few things come up for conversation here. Yeah? And that is uh, you need more research or uh, find out more about uh, when up they just stay, um, uh, there should be at least some for a uh, uh, forest were protected for uh, habitat below the solar bed. Uh, thirdly, you uh, can explore in exit or conservation or uh, conservation of bed inside a control breeding captive, uh, 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 in captivity. And also, uh, more urgently, I think. Uh, education and awareness law, communities law, Gizo regarding the solar iconic bed law island. Uh, I think these are the uh, options where I come up and uh, him too by help for helping me better managing uh, um, forest breathing and especially of the unique biodiversity we stay inside law, island breathing. Uh, now any closing things? You like talent? Because most, most every every people where stay low um, areas where stay close low place where white eye and stuff in the stand. Okay, mm. I mean okay, that's a very good clear knowledge too. Yeah, also understanding to know knowledge about it. So yeah, so what whatever um, plants or um, whatever plans for them where you we know, need for doing also consulting motor mm. then try for map the motor areas yeah kind of thing but another guy more 
um, um, information about the renal sightings, the latest sightings in the Yeah. Okay, yes. <clears throat> so community uh, consultation. Uh, no. Yes. Communities where uh, stop close up now or the area where white eye baby are still on. Yeah, so okay, I think we have no more and uh, uh, hopefully by you can move in this uh, conservation and research uh, effort of conserving yes. and protecting the geese of white eye forward. And uh, me follow interest at ESSI Ecological Solutions. Uh, me follow behind the uh, provincial government uh, building no more. One time boss from me follow David Bosetto. And uh, we're more than happy and willing for help in the management and protection of species, especially low, I don't know, geese or mifa waka everywhere else in the Solomon Islands, but now conservation issue come up low, backyard blue me everyone. So uh, that's why mifa raising this awareness. Uh, so thank you all for listening in and uh, posting this to your uh, social networks and, uh, and uh, let's try and uh, work together for conserving the iconic bird blow Gizo Island. Leana Hola. Leana Hola. <laughs>